Okay, well, after that story, uh, what was your favorite convention experience? I have to say I have lots of them. Um, you know, conventions can be weird and crazy, but they can also be so lovely. And you can have these beautiful moments that you just wouldn't otherwise have because conventions are something that they're just a different creature than anything else that exists. It's not like being on set. It's not like being on stage in a play. It's a very different thing. But I think one of my very favorite moments was Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, and I, I don't even know if I knew who was going to be at the convention, but it turns out that it was Kevin Smith and I, and it is the last time that I saw Kevin, but we were both on stage as speaking guests. And then they asked us to do this little cabaret, which we agreed to. And Kevin and I ended up very impromptu last second. Um, we sang, uh, uh, the Sonny and Cher, um, I got you, babe. So, <laughs> and it was truly hilarious and so much fun. And just to get to see Kevin in that light and just to have both of us be like, I, can you do it? I don't know. Can you do it? I don't know. Let's do it. And you know, just, just making it work. And, and I, I just, Kevin was a very special person as we all know. And he was particularly special to me because when I was first cast in Xena, he was my person. Uh, he was the person I had almost every scene with. He was the person who helped me find my way around set and just learn the ropes of who is who and who has what job. And, you know, his sense of humor was so hilarious and so gentle and supportive. He was just a really great guy and gave me a sense of everything's going to be okay and we're going to have a great time as we're making it. And being able to have had that moment with Kevin is really extraordinary to me because I mean, we live in opposite sides of the world. So, you know, if it wasn't for that convention, our paths wouldn't have crossed again. So I really treasure that. 